Hey guys, Moana Pobera here, and today we're going to talk about why you can't get rich but get it by getting advice from poor people. So let's get to it. So yeah, today I want to talk about and expand on the fact that you can't be successful at something if you listen to someone who isn't successful at it. And many people out there, when it comes, and we're talking about business because this channel is all about mostly business, I see people getting advice from their family, from their friends, from their wives, from their husbands, from their kids even sometimes about what to do next in their business life. And it's a bit frustrating because they're basically asking people who don't have the results that they want on how to achieve the results that they don't have, basically. And it makes no sense. And I'm, I don't blame them because many times that's the only people around them. It's just frustrating to see that they take their advice and then they're basically holding back on their dreams many times because they listen to so much advice of people around them. And Many people might tell you, hey, it's okay, just, just take advice from those people because we, we'll, they tell you even that we love you, we care about you, we want for your best and we will never give you advice against you. But you need to understand that whatever they're saying is not, they're not trying to harm you. First of all, that's the best that they know and they, they really try to protect you many times and they're reflecting on you their own fears most of the time. Uh, but you need to remember that in order to become successful, or I guess achieve a different results that you don't have yet, you many times need to take actions that you never achieved, never took before. And those actions are going to be outside your comfort zone. They're going to feel emotionally a little painful to do those things. But if you always do what's comfortable, you're just going to stay in your comfort zone and continue to be where you're at. So if you're poor right now and you continue to do just what's comfortable, you'll probably continue to stay poor. So you've got to do things that are outside your comfort zone. You've got to listen to people that already got the results that you want. It's like if you want to get healthy and, and, and I guess lose weight or gain muscle or anything like that, you want to listen to people who already did that. You don't want to go to a fat person who ask him, how do I lose weight? Maybe they can help you based on theory and books that they read. Maybe they can even answer to you based on what they believe is true or because they love you and care about you. So they will only tell you whatever uh, is for your own benefits. But you need to look at your life objectively, literally from above, and think to yourself, are those the right people to listen to? And unless they have the results that you want, don't listen to them. Now, if they're family members, I don't think that it's good to disconnect from them completely. I mean, in the end of the day, those are people that love you. And in this world, everyone that really love and care about you, I think it's, it's great to have those people around you. That's, that's what life is about in the end of the day, just being around good people that you love and care about and care about you. But there's a very big difference between being around those people uh, because you, you, I guess you love and respect each other versus being around people who, who will get you the results that you want. And you know now, you know what? Nowadays it's really hard. I mean, everyone out there got a book. Everyone out there got a little YouTube channel, right? Everyone can just open his camera and, and create a YouTube channel. And it's really hard to understand who to listen to. Um, and you might say, I don't know this guy on YouTube. I don't think he care about me as much as my wife or my, my, my mom. And what you find out is that you don't know who to listen to. There's so many options out there. But in the end of the day, you've got to ask yourself, is that person that I'm going to listen to have the results that I want? Do Let's say it's in business, right? In business, did he build from scratch the business that I want? Or if it's in the space of buying existing businesses, did he bought businesses that I want as well? And is he making money? And... Do he, does he know the process? Do you know how to find those deals, how to negotiate on those deals, how to raise capital on those deals? And now then to also manage those businesses because I can tell you, I can buy every week literally uh, two distressed businesses. People just send them to me and they tell me, hey, you can take that business for $1 down, your business. Just take it and save it because I don't know what to do with it anymore. And you can do those deals, but many times that, the hard work that you need to put into turning around that business is just not worth it. And many times it's that business is it's just done. You can turn it around. I mean, yes, maybe there are some miracles every now and then, but I think that the time that you waste in stress businesses, you can just put into finding profitable businesses. That's probably going to take you the same amount of time. And when you buy a profitable business, you already buy a business with a good management team in place. So in my opinion, it's by far the best way. And if you start a business from scratch, also ask yourself, if that's your dream, 
and you want to build like a huge technology company, go and find someone who built something like that and make sure that he's not only showing you the process A to Z, but secondly, you also have an agenda to help you. And it's not just about selling you the course or the program, but there's also something on the back end. Like for us on the back end, the reason that we create the course that we have or the, the programs that we have is because that's the best way for us to build qualified deal flow. Because we teach you the process on how to buy those businesses. We show you everything step by step. And then we invest our own capital into many of those deals. But if we wouldn't teach you that process, there's just no way that you will know how to find those deals, how to talk to those deals. Yes, people message me and tell me, Moran, I got this deal. I'll send it to you. You do that deal and just give me 50% of the deal. And I'm like, dude, I, I can't do that. If I had to do that with everyone who messaged me, I would have to look at hundreds of deals every day. And what I'm here doing with our programs is we teach you the process to go out there and know everything on your own. And then we just come in and help at the last stages if needed, if it's with our experience, our network or capital. And that's what it comes down to. We have an agenda to help you because on the back end, you can make a lot of money by having equity in those deals together. So that's another really important thing that you need to ask yourself. The person is going to teach me. He's is only going to sell me an event or a course or he also have an agenda to help me. And that's why we in our program put in support and mindset as probably the most important thing because we have weekly calls. We have access to us 24 7 we op open doors for you with our network of financial institutions we are giving you obviously our experience and our team combined did more than 300 deals and we saw literally everything you can think about every nuance that you will get across and have a challenge to overcome we probably already saw that so it's really important guys um, that's pretty much sums up today remember don't listen to someone who isn't where you want to be because if you listen to those people um, and, and first of all, remember, they won't help you. Maybe they going to make you feel better that you listen to them and they care about you now more. Uh, but at the end of the day, even if they have all their interest in you, um, you need to remember that in order to get the results that you want, you need to do outside something outside your comfort zone. And you want to make sure that you have support while doing those things. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Go to moanpobert.com forward slash quiz. If you want to learn more about working with us on buying businesses or growing your existing business by acquisitions. So go to moanpobert.com forward slash quiz. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Otherwise, uh, like the video as well. And comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Let me know what is the best advice that you ever got on life, on your own business. I would love to hear that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, and I'll see you soon.